How to make a paracord cross necklace. In this tutorial, you will learn how to make this beautiful paracord necklace with the closed loop or with the little buckles on the end in anti-choke purpose, security reasons. So stay tuned because tutorial is right around the corner. Enjoy and have fun. Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope that you're all well safe and sound and that you're ready for yet another awesome paracord project. Today we're gonna create paracord necklace using these two shades of a gold paracord. The length are on your screen. Before we start, if you wanna learn how to make this beautiful paracord bracelet, I'm wearing today the photo you have in the top right corner information cards, also down below in the description box of this video. Here we have the shorter shade of a gold and the longer shade of a gold. We're gonna start with the longer one, so take the ends of your longer gold paracord and then simply put it on your neck and measure the width of it. So this part is to the neck and here we're gonna start with our weaves. So I'm gonna zoom a bit so you can clearly see and we're gonna proceed. I'm gonna take the right strand gold and gonna make it on top of the left strand, then around and from the back to the right side. With the left strand gold, I'm gonna make it around from the back, return it from the top and pass it through the loop on the left. This way we created our first snake knot and we're gonna proceed. So with the right strand of a paracord we're gonna pass it on top of the left one around and to, from the back to the right side. Now with the left one we're gonna take it from the back around to the top side of our cross and then from the top into the loop. right side on top of the left one, around to the back, with the left one from the back, around to the top, and then from the top through the loop on the left. So for this top side, we're gonna create the four knots, as you can see here, and then we're gonna pass to the bottom side. So take your shorter shade of a gold and find the center. Now from here, we're gonna do the same as we did on the longer strand of a bar cord. We're gonna create the snake knots. So take your right side cord make it on top of the left side cord, then around and from the back through the right side, as you can see, and we created as well the loop on the left. Now we're gonna take our left side paracord and make it from the back around and we're gonna return it from the top into the loop on the left side, like so. And now here we need to tie it but to close the loop here. So here we have the first of our snake knots from the shorter cord or a bottom side of our cross. Now we're gonna continue. I'm gonna take again the right side strand, make it on top of the left side, around and from the back again to the right side, 
and we create it loop as we usually do now with the left side chord from the back around and then return it from the top into the loop on the left side And from this end here, we're gonna create the six snake knots and then we're gonna proceed. So here as you can see we have the bottom side of our future cross and the top side and we're gonna start with the right and the left side of our cross so we're gonna take these two uh, chords and we're gonna proceed with our snake knot so once more the right side chord gonna go on top of the left side chord like so and then around and from the back to the right side creating the loop on the left side as you can see and with our left chord we're gonna make it from the back around and then from the top into the loop on the left so through the loop now we're gonna tight our snake knot and proceed And here we are, we have the first snake knot on the right side. Now we're gonna do the same on the left side. So from here, we're gonna take our right side chord, make it around the left side chord, creating the loop on the left and from the back to the right side. Now with the left side chord, from the back, around and from the top through the loop on the left. So here we are, we almost finished our project. As you can see we have a four knots on the top side, four on the each side left and right, and on the bottom side we have a seven snake knots. So now I'm gonna cut off the axis of cord, melt it down and proceed.
and our project is finished i hope that you like it if you do don't forget to leave a like share this video with your friends and the family and if you're not subscribed consider subscribing and hit that bell button so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video so that being said until the next time stay safe be well and see you soon bye